Just by randomized poll, I think this is the most loved blender that we sell here at HSN. Standing in the hallway, no kidding, you've heard me say I'm a crusader for this blender. If you don't try this blender, you are missing out. It has transformed my life. And listen, I have the big V blender that I spent basically $500 on. Not only does my producer, Catherine, own this, John Spann, who's in charge of our production team, owns this blender. I own this blender. And we were all like singing your praises. It sounded like a Dash commercial literally really? in the hallway. Well, I love this is that. Kelly, and we want to hear from you, and all you have to do is go read the reviews. People are bonkers for it. Mm -hmm. Right now, at retail, Dash is selling this for literally twice the price that you're paying here at HSN. All day long. All day long. At the high-end department store. Absolutely, and just like that Big V blender... Seven. Seven, seven year seven warranty. Seven year warranty. And more power. More power. So that's the thing. Shannon always mentions that V Blender. If you're yep. wondering which one we're referring to, check out the reviews on HSN.com. Our customers will tell you we're not allowed to say it, but it's about five, six hundred dollars. This yes, one is, is a fraction of the price. It has more power. Theirs is two horsepower. Ours is two and a quarter horsepower. That's fourteen hundred watts of power. Shannon, that's more horsepower than my lawnmower <laughs> right? in my garage. And here's the thing, just in comparison, because you're going to hear us talking about power and I'm like you, it doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. But just as an example, your blender at home that you buy for like 60 to 80 bucks, yes. about 350 uh, watts of power, okay? That's right. about average, 350 to 500. A bar blender that blends ice all day, every day, making mixed drinks for people. That are about five to 750 right. watts of power. This is 1,400 watts yeah. of power. So when we talk about power, we're not kidding. This is super powerful. It has a digital display where everything's built in. If you want to do a smoothie, you choose smoothie. If you want to crush or frozen, there's a soup. We're going to do hot soup. But the thing about that other really expensive one is you have to pulse it up and down. You have to know when to pulse <laughs> right. it, how long to pulse it, it makes for. Me crazy. It's it's difficult. You need a user's manual, not this you one. Do. You just need to be able to choose a picture, okay, on this one. But here's just how it works because we're going to go kind of fast and furious. This is the kind of ice I choose to use on this demonstration because it's different than what you traditionally see in blender demonstrations. This is the kind of ice that comes out of your freezer. Most blender demonstrations, you'll see them using like what I call fluffy gas station <laughs> right? ice. It's filled with air. It's easy to crush. No, we're using the kind of ice that comes straight out of the consumer freezer. It's just like my ice at home. It's just like your ice at home. Inside here, we also have fresh mangoes, tequila, because mm -hmm. Shannon loves tequila, mm -hmm. and a little agave. I do. All right, so at home, I don't want you <laughs> to try this because this is going to burn out that El Cheapo blender that you might have, okay? But watch as I choose frozen because I'm making a frozen drink. You're going to hear the machine pulse up and down on its own. There's a computer right. built inside that knows when it needs to yeah. pulse. But this happens really, really fast. So I'm going to hit start, but I'm going to let that shot back out. There we go. Ready? Here we go. Watch how fast. Okay, now remember the blender is doing all it's of the work. It's going up and down on right? its own. You got Which, it. If you have that other V blender and not to be, it, I mean, it's a, it's a great product that was designed for chefs, like Chef Ryan Scott, because he would know what to do with it. That's exactly I don't know what to do with it. So this, like Kelly said, you hit the little picture. It's not like there's a manual that's nope, an inch and a half it says frozen, stack. it says smoothie, right. it says puree, it yep. says wash. This one washes itself. Yeah. But the most important is the results. Look what you get when you have two and a quarter horsepower. Oh you get a mixed gosh. drink with not a chunk or a bump of ice in wow. under 20 seconds <laughs> with only a handful of ingredients. I now have the most beautifully blended, perfect margarita. And in my world, margaritas are very important. And and you don't have a chunk or a bump inside there. It will no. make the best mixed oh. drinks you've ever had in your life. If it doesn't, send it back. We're giving you seven years with this machine. I know. That's crazy. Your car didn't come with a seven-year warranty. Mine your certainly didn't. Right? <laughs> your house didn't come with a seven-year warranty. Now, if you want the green, I'll just show you color choices real quickly. The green, Catherine, I'm sorry, you said two or 300. Final 200 on the green. My red, my red, my red. I got my red in my kitchen. We have only 900 of that red, and it really is like this bulletproof red it's that get arrested red we've got the classic black and the white and remember girls you this is again my own opinion for what it's worth i have that big v blender it's a great product i'm not being disrespectful of the quality however i couldn't figure the doggone thing out there are a couple of dials and a couple of you know levers and for me i'm not a chef i like to cook I want to be able to hit a little picture, and that is exactly what you do. And the thing is, there's even a wash cycle on this. So you could do nut butters, you could do gazpachos, you could do smoothies, you could do pina coladas. You can 
do soup. You can do gluten-free flours. So anything and everything in between, you are going to do with this blender. And remember, it's literally half the price of retail. Right now, your high-end retailer, Dash, the manufacturer is selling this in those big high-end retailers for double our asking price. We're doing it on that special flex pay for this show and then one more chance tomorrow at 2 p.m. and that is it. Only as long as supplies last. Seeing is believing. Once you get this at home, I know you're gonna be a believer. And Kelly, even if they only did soup with this, mm -hmm. all without a burner. Absolutely. So a lot of people invest in that really expensive blender because they think it has some kind of a heating element. It doesn't, this one doesn't either. It's based on the power of friction. We're able to cook your food up to 180 degrees. So real quickly, all I have inside here are fresh organic tomatoes from my farmer's market. We're all getting them. Maybe you grew them in your backyard a little bit of spices and seasonings. You could add butter or olive oil, and then I have a little bit of flour. And then in my one right next to me, I just have chocolate chips and some cream. I'm gonna make hot, fresh soup and hot fondue in a matter of minutes, live on air. So you're gonna see, all I've done is I've chosen the soup function. It blinks when it says soup. So all I have to do is press a button. I don't have to pulse it up and down, and then I can walk away. But what's gonna happen here is we're gonna roll the table to the side, because this is a loud blender. When you have 1,400 watts of power, it's gonna be loud. If you have a blender that's quiet, or claims to be quiet, it's not doing a good job for you. I don't want you to buy a, a vacuum that's quiet and I don't want you to buy a blender that's quiet. So I'm gonna hit the start button and then in just a few minutes, we're gonna come right back to these blenders. And the really cool thing is Kelly does this. Remember the blender is going to do the work. She doesn't have to babysit it. She doesn't have to keep thinking about, okay, do I pulse? Do I puree? Do I do the little vortex thing? The blender has, basically the little engineer is built into this blender. Now, remember, it's loud. Now, you, if your blender is not getting it done, it's not because, it's because it doesn't have the horsepower that this does. When you compare it to that big V blender, which is once more, it's a great product. I'm not disparaging the product, but it's literally hundreds of dollars more than you're spending today. Dash is selling this for twice the price elsewhere. You got it. But Dash has matched that other blender's warranty at seven years, and this actually has more power. But even if it didn't have more power, which it does, I like the user interface. It's prettier, it's better looking, it belongs it in your home, it doesn't belong behind a kitchen. I'm gonna do a smoothie here because we did a little research and we found that the number one thing most people purchase a new blender for is because they want to do fresh frozen drinks, beautiful frozen drinks yeah. like I showed you, and they wanna do fresh smoothies. Now, yeah. when you emulsify your fruit and your vegetables, you're able to digest them. You know how healthy it is to drink your fruits and vegetables. You've heard about it, you've seen about it, you've read about it. Now you can do it instantly without adding any liquid yep. you can see in most Say blender demonstrations without adding, adding any, any liquid. liquid like most blender demonstrations you would see them adding ice or coconut water or water or apple juice or something because they need a little bit of liquid to get the blades you know moving they're right. not powerful enough but watch as i take just solid food and turn it into a liquid bananas pineapple with the rind a whole cucumber a whole handful of grapes i've hidden some spinach and kale i'm going to go to that smoothie button and then i'm going to hit start and you're going to watch right before your eyes it's going to turn solid food into a liquid without adding any liquid. Right, and remember, you can see that Kelly has that really overfull in a way. I mean, that was all the way to the top of the beaker, all the way to the yeah. top of the crab. I mean, just pack it full of fruits and veggies because it's a 64 ounce pitcher. So you can see it'll go down a little bit and it's pulsing on its own. It knows when it needs to go right. up and down. You don't have to, you know, do this number like right. you do on the other one. But you can see in a matter of seconds, uh, it's it's blended to perfection. It's a smoothie that's smooth, believe yeah. it or not. You ever chewed a smoothie and you're like, oh, wait God. a minute. Oh, God. I know. You get a chunk of you something. You get a texture and you're like, I'm not doing that again. Yeah. Watch what this was just a few seconds ago. Think of how that was 64 ounces of solid food. There are no chunks, no bumps, no seeds. If you wanted to add protein powder or chia seed or walnut or cashew. Yeah, for whatever you want. For creaminess. Look at that smoothie. Oh, no, Look that's at the a color green drink. of that smoothie. That will be the Fun. healthiest thing you drink all day. It doesn't take any kind of special powers to extract nutrients except power, meaning wattage, right. 1,400 watts, takes us from solid food to a liquid. Okay, remember, it's this show and one more airing, and that is it. So this show, one more airing, and that is all she wrote. Special flex pay, that means it's actually less than $40 to get home, which is really incredible when you think of it that way. And I was just at the health food store the other day, and I don't know if you have comparison shopped or priced out 
homemade peanut butter. It's outrageous. It's like a mortgage payment. I mean, it really or is. Or almond butter or cashew butter. Or almond butter. butter or cashew butter. Maybe you're trying to do paleo. Maybe you're trying to get sure. the gluten out of your diet. Kelly will show you how you can do gluten-free gluten flour. flour. Mm -hmm. But even those nut butters you're making literally in seconds. Oh, nut butter, almond nut butter for this much, five ounces, like $12.99. Okay, yeah. this is just a bag of peanuts. We did the honey roasted kind just for sure. fun. But this could be plain organic almonds or cashews or walnuts. There's a manual setting as well along with all the pre-settings. And so I just went up to high and I'm going to hit start. I want you to start watching right here from the bottom of yeah. the screen. I'm not adding any oil. A lot of blender nope. demonstrations yeah, have to true. add oil You're because, right. you know, it's not powerful enough to extract oil, but this one is. So I'm going to hit that start button. You're going to see as I tamper those peanuts down, it's going to start turning into a peanut butter right before your eyes in a matter of under a minute. Okay, with no added oil. No added oil, no salt, no chemicals, no palm oil, no preservatives, just straight organic peanuts right off the farm. And you can see how creamy it is already. And remember, that's going to be in seconds with no added oil whatsoever. And that could be peanuts, that could be cashews, that could be almonds, that could be, you know, any of your favorite nut of choice. Any nuts. But cashews. Yes. I mean, walnuts. honestly, if you only did nut butters, I mean, that's a flex payment. Oh, I, I mean, mean, I'm serious. You can't believe it when you start yeah, to look, look at the back of a peanut is. butter jar. And Whoa. you wouldn't believe the junk they are putting in peanut butter no. nowadays. I just started feeding my son peanut butter, and I was mortified when I looked at the yeah. back of a jar. I only make it now for him. Right. Cause you because you think I don't want something good. And then yes. you read the label. Because you think, oh, what it is. It's just, you know, peanuts, right? Or maybe oil. Absolutely peanuts and oil. Absolutely not. But it's a lot more than that. It's a lot oh. of garbage. Oh or you could just buy a, you know, yeah. peanuts are relatively inexpensive. Buy them and make your own butters, your own cashew butter, walnut butter. That's flavor, good. imagine it flavored with like chipotle or do mm. a little strawberry peanut butter. Anything that your heart desires. Now you mm. can make gourmet peanut butter mm. and you can give it as a gift. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. She loves it. I could eat literally that whole thing. Oh, please eat it because it's healthy. It's oh, packed with protein. God, We've good. cut down on the junk. Um, it's very, very mm. good for you. And actually, speaking of good for you, our soups are, are finishing up. So we're going to head on oh, over right. to I'm going to eat soups. some more peanut butter. All right. <laughs> you but eat I, the I will peanut butter. warn you. If you are not calling now, remember, Kelly has only one more airing of this. I'm like a little dog, you know, peanut butter on the roof of my mouth. You, just try the nut butter. I'm serious about this. If there is somebody who has a special dietary need in your life, you know, whether you're watching the sugars, whether you're watching the gluten, whether you're watching the preservatives, whether you're trying to eat raw or do paleo or whatever it might be, Maybe you're just what? like Dash's motto, you're trying to unprocess your food. For Moms of America, this is a must have. I know we started the show with margaritas. You know, we used to sell at this network a margarita maker. I'm serious. And it, all it did was margaritas, and it was $200. That's it. And all it did was do margaritas. We've sold those little baby food food processors, and maybe you've seen them on the infomercial. They're over $100, and all they do is baby food. Baby food, soups, soups, smoothies fondues, your own coffee drinks, your own gazpachos, your own gluten-free flour, and you have from soup to nuts, speaking of soup <laughs> and nuts, right? <laughs> we just finished our beautiful tomato soup with only fresh organic tomatoes right out of the farmer's market. Maybe it's out of your garden. This is the color that tomato soup, fresh tomato soup should be. It should be quite orange, actually. In fact, most of the tomato soup that we buy has been processed with chemicals, and it looks a little bit red, and you think, well, that's natural. This is natural. It has, should have a bit of an orange color. This is fresh with our own spices, our own ingredients. Maybe add some chives or a little bit of onion, sour cream on top. But if you've never had fresh tomato soup, there's a very big difference in your taste palette. You will never go back to canned again once you do it fresh. Dash's motto is unprocess your food. They're all about getting the garbage out of our food and getting the healthy back into our lives. So do the fresh. And now we have a machine that will do soup from raw ingredients. You saw all I had in there was tomatoes. Now inside here, we're getting a little decadent. So you can get decadent if you would like. Remember, this was just cream and a little bit of chocolate chip. Maybe I want to add some orange in there or some, um, you know, strawberry. But look what you get. In six minutes, it is smooth. There are no chunks and no bumps. Because of the friction, you are able to heat this up to 180 degrees by just pressing a button that says soup. And now you have a beautiful fondue that you can serve and you'll be proud to serve this to anybody a baby shower, a graduation party, 
a, a beautiful romantic dinner with your sweetheart, look what you can do in six minutes with two ingredients and just make a little platter here. We pay about $20, $30 for that at those fondue restaurants. Now you have a machine where you press a button and it creates it for you. All you do is walk away after you press that button that says soup. It's that oh powerful. I mean, can you believe that? You press a button. <laughs> you press a button that says soup. Incidentally, I have eaten almost that entire bowl of the homemade peanut butter. You know what it was? It was the honey roasted that pushed me over the edge. I'm like, oh my God. You crack me up, Oh, Shannon. good Lord. <laughs> okay. I need a 12-step program for this dash blender. I'm for telling peanut you right butter? Now. Oh, from the blender. For the peanut butter. I mean, really. I mean, you go from margaritas to peanut butter. You had me at margarita, but then you moved to peanut butter and go it was all Go try that over. tomato soup, girl. <laughs> exactly. You'll be giving me a big old kiss. I will. Here's what Nancy has to say. Best blender ever. So glad I made this purchase. I bought every blender offered, and this one by far exceeded my expectations. I use it for juicing mostly, but will use it for all my mixing needs as well. Well, well done, Dash and HSN, and what a great price. And that's just it. Do not let this price fool you. Listen, I, I not to disparage that V blender. It is a great product. However, it's more than twice what you're spending on this. Very it does not have the same power. The Dash actually has more power. And if it only had the features, for me, it is the convenience of those buttons. For the life of me, and you know what? I just sell electronics. I'm sure. pretty good with technology. Sure, sure. I still can't figure out. But that it's tough to know it when to is. go up and down. I don't know when. Based on your consistency, I they tell you, well, out. if you want this consistency, go up and down here. And you're like, I cannot uh, figure it all out. All I want to do you. is press a button. So these are hard as a rock. These are straight out of your freezer. I point that out yeah. because they need to be this consistency, completely frozen to make what I'm about to do. Right. I love this one. This is one of my favorites to do because if if I were, if I had my way, I would be able eating ice cream every night. Right. So you could make it a sorbet or you could make it an ice you cream. Could, so this is skim milk. Right. Um, or it could be coconut milk or almond milk. Yeah. If you want a cream, you just do heavy cream. But now we've got frozen, frozen solid strawberries. These could be frozen mangoes, right. frozen berries, peaches, whatever frozen fruit, peaches. Blackberries. Blackberries right out of the, you know, grocer's freezer aisle. Now I just go to frozen because I'm making a frozen treat. It right. actually says frozen. Yeah. That's why we love this machine. You're going to hear it growl. You're going to hear it make lots of noises. Yeah. Don't be scared of this machine. Right. It is loud and it will do such a great job for you. But this is about to turn into sorbet right in a matter of seconds, right before your eyes. Yeah. You use this tamper to press those strawberries down. You hear it pulsing. So if you are watching the sugar in your diet. Now, so these are only natural sugars. So for, so for wants that sweet treat, but you don't want added sugar. You don't want added this or that. Now remember, it makes noise because it's got power. So look at there. That's the quad blade that pulled all those frozen strawberries right down into the blade. Yep. And I just want to show you how. Um, he's telling me three. Okay, there we go. I'm like, where are we going? There it is. And then oh, I can even flip that. it upside down. That's oh, how frozen Lord. this is. Completely frozen. So that's that why we love seconds. that. Four and a quarter. Sorry, 1400 watts of power. Two and a quarter horsepower yeah. does this to frozen strawberries and. Amazing. Milk. It turns it into the most decadent sorbet. You feel yeah. like you've stolen it from Italy gelato shop you do. because you're like, wait a minute, and look at the texture, the oh, creamy texture, this consistency. And that was with skim milk. Okay, skim milk and that, frozen berries. Frozen berries and skim milk. Frozen berries. Two ingredients. And skim milk. That's okay. why we say unprocess your food. Mm. There's nothing unnatural about what so we just good. did. It I'm is all you. natural. It could be, egg. and now if you want to make it a heavier cream, you could do heavy cream inside there. Oh you could God, do chocolate good. or fresh mint. Oh, that's good. Imagine making mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to do ice right? cream every now and then, okay? <laughs> Imagine <laughs> it. All okay. right, now we have so many of you who buy the Dash for this next demonstration alone.